All right, I'm going to show you how I do my looping on the Morph Machine. Now I set up my clocks. Uh, I got a synth voice coming in here. And that's being sequenced by Renee. And all my clocking is going to happen on Tempe. Uh, if you don't have Tempe, I'm sure other clock modules or clock divider will fit the bill. That's my little melody. I'm going to record that into the morphogene. Now, I want to have a clock that is fast enough to give me the resolution I need, but not so fast that I have to like dance between the raindrops just to get that record button hit on time. So I'm going to patch channel 1 of Tempe into the clock input on the morphogene. I'm going to play my sequence, and I'm, Tempe allows you to just tap in your tempo, and it'll quantize that for you. So I'm going to start this up. I want to do this at a quarter of that rate, so I'm going to just tap that in. There we go. And I'm going to set up one more clock for the play input. I'll get to why I'm doing that here in a minute. Channel 6 into the play input. Now I'm going to do this at a sixteenth of that. So I want it to fire once for every 16 steps, so I'm just going to tap that in. Okay, good. Now it's time to record that. So. You might be able to see a little faint blink there on the reel and record there. That's my clock pulses. I want to get my record in right... There we go. So I caught that just in between those clocks. Turn my sound on sound up. any luck it should sound exactly the same. There might be a tiny bit of flanging effect going on there because I mean they're the same sound doubled. If I turn my sound on sound all the way clockwise, same sequence. So let's uh, let's add a little to that. I'll tell you what, why don't I change my change my snake mode. You can hear the two melodies adding to each other. I'm going to change an octave here. That sounds interesting. Let's record that into a new splice. Six, seven, eight. Two, three, five, six, eight. There we go. There's my new splice. I'll organized to the first one. A variation to that. I'll go with my first splice here. Change my snake mode again. I'll use a different waveform. I'll use a sine wave. Lower pitch. That sounds good. If I want, I could just I could patch and a splice gate into shift and just let this thing change through the uh, splices.
Okay, earlier I said I was going to explain why I plugged this play gate in here. Uh, the reason is, is I want the thing to start over every 16 beats. I want it to play that splice from the beginning. And one of the reasons for that, you know, keeping things in timing, I'm going to turn up my splice. A lot of times I'll bump into something, in particular the Verispeed knob. I'm all out of whack now. I try to dial it back in to where it turns green. And since it's going to play the splice over and over again with the clock, it'll eventually correct itself and now everything's on time where it should be. Okay, one final thing. Another reason why I like to plug into that play input is that once you got your splices set up, I've got three splices. I'm down to three right now. Um, let's unplug that. Right now the end of splice gate is plugged into shift, so it's just rotating through the three splices. But I'm going to send it a different clock, because the Tempe is rotating its clocks around, so let's hear what that sounds like. Pretty crazy.